In this video, we're going to find the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x raised to x raised to x. Notice that we can write x raised to x is e raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. This means that we can rewrite this here as e raised to x raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. We know that this is equal to this right here. So that means that we can rewrite x raised to x raised to x is e raised to e raised to x times the natural logarithm of x. And this is all multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. So let's go ahead and rewrite our limit using what we have here for x raised to x raised to x. We have the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e raised to e raised to the natural logarithm multiplied by x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. So what we can do is rewrite this limit as e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. This is equal to e raised to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e raised to x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x multiplied by the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of the natural logarithm of x. We can evaluate this limit using El Hopital's rule, but there's really no need, because if we just look at this one here, from the graph of the natural logarithm, it looks something like this. So as we approach zeros right here, as we approach 0 from the right, we tend to negative infinity. This isn't a really good drawing of it, but it's kind of just like the idea. So this here is equal to minus infinity. And anything multiplied by minus infinity is just minus infinity. So we have e raised to minus infinity. And that's just equal to 1 over e raised to infinity, which is 0. And that's the answer to the problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found the video useful.